And if the supervolcano at Yellowstone National Park erupted, its debris could cover the entire United States from coast to coast. That's according to a new study published in G-Cubed. Cubed. That is the Journal of Geochemistry, Geophysics, and Geosystems. Some scientists predict the catastrophe could happen as soon as 2016, while others go as far out as 2074. The majority of experts, though, believe that this will not happen anytime soon. But whatever the case, the group put together the study model to display the effects of an eruption, and it's pretty fascinating. Earlier, I spoke with RT correspondent Lindsay France about these findings. I first asked her what the odds are of a volcano erupting in the first place. Well, as you said, some scientists say it could be relatively soon, and others, the geophysicists who authored this study, say it's not likely at all. This model is created just to show what the collateral damage to us would be if a major eruption did happen. Now, the uh, Yellowstone caldera, a caldera is the crater formed on a massive volcano uh, when the major eruptions cause the, the top of the volcano to, uh, to collapse onto itself. That caldera alone uh, spans 35 Four by 45 miles. Now, the, this was formed over three eruptions that happened over the past 2.1 million years. Now, let's say there was an eruption that was going to take place. If that were the case, we would be seeing uh, lava flows from it. We would be seeing possibly a smaller volcanic eruption. And of course, uh, preceding all of this, we'd be sensing earthquakes as that liquid hot magma flowed up to the surface uh, and created those fissures and filling those fissures and creating earthquakes as it prepared for this giant explosion. None of that's being sensed. So to put your fears to rest, there you go. <laughs> now, if it happened, though, what damage would we actually be looking at? Would we be looking at like a, another Pompeii? Well, that's exactly what, what I was thinking when I was reading these articles, <laughs> uh, come to find out. Actually, they do know that um, when it look, when talking about the volume of debris ejected from the volcano, they say that Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Colorado would be completely covered in many feet of this ash. It would wow. cover the coast to co coast to coast of the United States. And it might sound a bit startling, but it's it's entirely plausible that this could actually happen. Um, it would, it would, it's estimated that it would spew 30, 330 cubic kilometers of volcanic ash into the sky. And uh, the last massive volcano out of Yellowstone, according to scientists, spewed tens of thousands of cubic kilometers. So it's not completely impossible. So as we saw um, in that big volcanic eruption in Iceland, you recall that a couple of years ago, it blocked Absolutely. out travel um, between the U.S. and going into Europe. I mean, would we be seeing a similar uh, effect with our travel systems or cell phone towers or communication? Well, absolutely. Uh, the the infrastructure we all rely on would be completely, as you might as you might guess, uh, out of out of the game for a, for <laughs> quite a while. This would affect crops. It would affect food, f growing food, not just you know jet engines getting us to our to our holidays and our vacations. It would affect. Uh, generating power, breathing clean air, water we drink, everything. And Again, that was RT correspondent Lindsay France from our Los Angeles studio.